Hey guys, welcome back. This is part four of a series on enhancing your study skills. If you haven't seen the first three episodes, I would recommend watching those first to get the most out of this video. Today, I'll be talking a bit more about a controversial technique to memorizing information, and that is mnemonics. Mnemonics are a technique we can use to help us improve our ability to remember something. In other words, it's a memory technique to help our brain better encode and recall important information by associating new information to something that we already have stored in our long-term memory. So here's a quick example of a mnemonic that most people learned in elementary school math class, bed mass. So bed mass stands for brackets, exponents, division and multiplication in the order they come, addition and subtraction in the order they come. So mnemonics are a way of memorizing information so that it sticks in our brain longer and can be recalled more easily in the future. So what's the scientific evidence that shows mnemonics actually work? To get more information about mnemonics, I looked at a review paper titled Mnemonics in Education, Current Research and Applications by Adam Putnam. This paper was published in 2015 in the journal Translational Issues in Psychological Science. This paper showed that the jury is still out and not much evidence exists to show that mnemonics actually work for long-term retention. Some academic studies of mnemonics have shown their effectiveness. In one such example, subjects of different ages who applied mnemonic techniques to learn new vocabulary outperformed control groups that applied freestyle learning techniques. But again, there were other studies that concluded that mnemonics had very little utility. Finally, the author of this review concluded that some mnemonics may support long-term learning if combined with other strategies that prevent forgetting, such as active recall and spaced repetition. Additionally, there's evidence showing that mnemonics may have positive non-memory side effects, such as increasing motivation to study. Some studies have also shown that mnemonics are like a comfort blanket and can reduce test anxiety among students. So whether you decide to use mnemonics in your study strategy is up to you, but for me, I felt that mnemonics definitely help me memorize lists of information. So let's look at some more examples of mnemonics. Look at this sequence of numbers, 509, 374-8462. Could you remember this number if I asked you to recall it an hour later? Well, perhaps. What about the same number visualized like this? 509-374-8462. Does this number look familiar? It's the pattern of how North American phone numbers are written. So the same information just visualized in a different way in your mind can aid in memorizing it. This is an example of chunking. The theory behind chunking is that short-term memory storage can hold up to five items at, of information at one time, but this same memory can hold up to four chunks of information. Chunking information is a mnemonic strategy that works by organizing information into more easily learned groups, phrases, words, or numbers. Now, let's look at acronyms. An acronym is a simple abbreviation for a list of information that makes the phrase ordering easier to remember. For example, we talked about the mnemonic bed mass from elementary school earlier, on which is an example of an acronym. Another acronym, if you're trying to memorize four different types of dementia for medical school, might be FLAV, which is F-L-A-V, which stands for frontotemporal, Lewy body, Alzheimer's, and vascular. There's another type of mnemonic called an acrostic. An acrostic uses the same concept as the acronym, except that instead of forming a new word, we generate a sentence that helps you remember the information. Similar to the acronym bed mass, an often used acrostic in math class is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. This acrostic mnemonic again represents the order of operations in algebra and stands for parentheses, 
exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Here's another example of an acrostic from science class. Kids prefer cheese over fried green spinach. This acrostic helps us remember the order of taxonomy, that is kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. So the effectiveness and usefulness of mnemonics can be amazing, but only provided that you understand precisely what they are good for. That is, they enhance your short-term memory for some time. No evidence exists yet to show that they alone are suitable for long-term learning. Mnemonics should ideally be used in the review phase of active recall to memorize lists and sequences into your short-term memory. Once mnemonics have been used to help you fill your short-term memory, then active recall and spaced repetition will help transfer this information into long-term memory. So that pretty much sums up my chat about mnemonics and also brings our series on enhancing study skills to an end. If you guys have found this series useful, I would love to get some feedback and comments. Please remember to like and share this video and don't for forget to subscribe. Thanks guys and I'll see you again soon.